Talaria is a new resource sharing management platform developed as part of the Hermes project. The aim of Talaria is to enhance and optimize the current receive system, while also providing a supportive platform for libraries and resource sharing communities. However, not all libraries have the resources or infrastructure to support effective resource sharing capabilities. This is where Talaria comes in, as a platform designed to support existing resource sharing communities and libraries that do not have their own resource management platform. With Talaria, libraries can join forces to provide broader access to a wider range of resources, ultimately creating a more connected and informed society. Why are library communities so important? I like more the word resource sharing community instead than consortium, library consortium, resource sharing consortium, because the focus is on the people. It means the knowledge professionals, the librarians, who have committed to collaborate through the sharing of their experiences, their knowledge, their best practices, their projects, and of course, through the sharing of their resources. Usually, resource sharing community have a common policy that can be framed as bylaw or articles of governance or rules and regulations. And this document um, encapsulates the vision of the community. Also, they share the same technological platform that usually is composed by a union catalog and a request system uh, that librarians use to make requests and to manage requests. And finally, they share a set of communication tools that can be the website, mailing list, social media groups, uh, meeting in presence, um, conferences, trainings, and also surveys that may help to assess periodically the well-functioning of the community. Libraries are the backbone of many communities acting as a center for learning, growth and collaboration. Talaria aims to be an inclusive software for librarians across the globe with support for multiple languages. The software has been developed in English and soon will be translated into Italian, Spanish and Turkish. Any other language can be added. Would you like Talaria to be available in your language? Let us know. Talaria software development will be progressive with new features and improvements added continuously based on user feedback and requirements. In addition, the development will be collaborative. Talaria is released as free open source software through GitHub and will be open to contribution from IT from all over the world. Talaria's development is led by CNR Dario Nobili Library, Italy, and development has begun in 2021 during the pandemic. How did you work in a team in software development during the COVID and the remote? Hello, this is Rebecca Hale, one of the developers of Talaria Software. Actually, working in a team in the pandemic presented many challenges, but our team was able to adapt and continue our work for software and web development with my colleague in Italy, Alessandro, and thanks to remote collaboration tool like GitHub or GitLab. So first, the communication is a key. We made sure to schedule, uh, actually every week, a regular video calls and check-ins to discuss our progress, share feedback, and collaborate with any challenge we face during the development phase. We also use some uh, messaging tool like Telegram and Slack to stay in touch throughout the day and share the updates in a real time. Uh, GitHub or GitLab was an invaluable tool for the team since it's allowing us to easily collaborate on code and and track changes in real time. So uh, GitHub uh, functions, let's say, like pull requests and push, uh, push requests to get the latest code and in addition to push my code to let the others uh, use it and test it. Of course, it provides also feedback and GitHub also uh, support an issue to keep track of bugs and feature requested. The working remotely presents some unique challenges, especially when it comes to debugging and testing the code. Uh, since it uh, it have a, let's say, robust testing and to build the process to catch up any issue early on and to be fixed and to be published. Overall, working in a team during the COVID 
A pandemic required us to be flexible, adaptable, and communicative. Uh, by leveraging the remote collaboration tools like GitHub and GitLab, we were able to continue our work on software and web development and deliver high quality standard of code despite the, the challenges of the remote work. Thank you. Talaria is designed to be a flexible platform to support the different needs and policies of a resource sharing community. As a progressive web app, Talaria ensures a seamless, rapid and safe web browsing experience across multiple platforms. Its interface is also designed with responsiveness in mind, adapting its scalability for use on either a computer or smartphone device. What are the free technologies used in the software development? Hi, this is Alessandro Tugnoli. I'm the main developer of Talaria Software. We use only free and open source technologies. For uh, the backend, uh, we use uh, Laravel PHP framework because it uh, implements the MVC architectural pattern and, the, and it is uh, widely used in the community. Uh, for uh, the front end, instead, we use a React.js framework that was developed by the Meta company. Uh, and with it, you can uh, easily create and reuse uh, web component. Uh, the general architecture is uh, based on Docker containers, so you can easily uh, move and install it on any platform. Thank you. Talaria is designed to be a flexible platform to respond to the needs and policies of different library resource sharing communities. Each resource sharing community can decide what features can be activated. The main customizable features are 1. The graphic identity. Each resource sharing community can use its own logo and color palette to reflect the visual identity of individual communities. Talaria, by default, has a blue navy palette. Here, you can see the Talaria homepage customized in a green palette for received community. 2. Resource sharing profiles. It is possible to opt for a peer-to-peer -peer library operation model, where each library functions has both borrower and lender, or to adopt different profiles, such as joining exclusively as a borrower or as both borrower and lender. The received community is an example of a community that accepts borrower-only libraries and libraries with a full profile. 3. Community policies on recovering the ill cost. 4. A resource sharing community can choose to activate the end users management with pattern requests. Let's take a look at the Talaria software interface. The user interface is very simple and user-friendly, based on visual communication. The icons synthesize actions and information. If you are unfamiliar with the icons used, don't fret. The Talaria manual is now accessible and contains a comprehensive list of all icons and their corresponding actions. Simply scan the QR code to access it. This is the public Talaria home page customized for received community. The home page displays three sections. First, we have the login or sign up at the top right of the page. Second, title and welcome message presenting the resource sharing community. In this case, it's presented received. The last section presents a box where it will be possible to search for a reference or to fill manually the bibliographic metadata by clicking on Go. A new reference can be either searched by the exact title or identifier and automatically imported. Now we are searching by PMID. The reference has been found and an open access version is available. The link to the open resource is directly accessible at the user interface. You can access to the full text of the open resource through the link provided. Now we are searching by a DOI. The reference has been found, but an open access version is not available. It will be possible to create a new request using the button Go, importing the full bibliographic reference. After clicking on Go, it will be necessary to log in to continue.
the form has been filled automatically. Click on Submit to create a new request and to display the request detail. Let's take a look at how to handle a request in the borrowing environment. Pending request displays the list of all ongoing requests. For each new request, it is possible to start requesting it from another library or to delete it. The Request button will open a new tab called Request Detail. In the request detail, the bibliographic metadata may be visualized in short or in full mode. It is possible to choose a single provider from the list of all available libraries or to choose the All Libraries option. It is also possible to ask for a special document format and insert notes. Remember to read the copyright disclaimer before sending the request. A new request that has been forwarded to a single or all libraries changes its status into requested, awaiting to be accepted. The process for sending the request to all libraries is the same. In addition to the copyright disclaimer, it is required to read the alert before sending the request. The request becomes visible to all the libraries in the community. In the landing environment, these requests are called orphan requests. The request sent to all libraries will be display a cloud icon and the name all libraries. Now we will try to fulfill this request by moving to the landing environment. Pending requests contain the list of all requests received and taken over by the library. On each new pending request, is it possible to see the notes sent by the borrower library and the bibliographic data in short form? The action allowed or to accept the request by clicking on the I will supply icon or do not fulfill. After having accepted the request, it's possible to manage it. By clicking on the proceed icon, it will open the request detail and it will be possible to fulfill it. The possibility of not fulfilling is always given. The Cannot Fulfill button will display a drop-down with all the possible reasons to select, and then submit it. By clicking on Fulfill, will collapse a drop-down where it's possible to choose the delivery method. If Lender may provide an electronic document, it's possible to proceed the request to the system by choosing Has Delivery Method File. After uploading the file, you click on Upload File to upload it inside the system. Remember, it's important to read the copyright disclaimer. Clicking on Submit will process the request to the borrowing library. The Orphan Request menu opens a community board that displays those requests visible to all libraries. As for normal requests, it is necessary to click on the I will supply button to accept a request to supply it. The request will be visible in the own landing pending request and it will be possible to manage it. Remember, after accepting the orphan request, the other libraries will no longer be able to see it or fulfill it. Talaria software introduces user roles as a new feature. Library operators play a crucial role in managing the resource sharing workflow and can hold multiple authorizations for various roles 
simultaneously in the same or across different libraries, depending on their tasks. The library operators are classified into three roles. The library manager, this role is obtained after user registration if the user decides to register a new library in the system. The library manager has complete control of all operations and manages the library within the community. They can invite, activate and remove all other library operators, including another library manager. The borrowing operator. This operator manages only the submission and the management of requests to other libraries. The lending operator. This operator handles only the supply of materials requested by other libraries. These are some of the key features of the Talaria software. However, how and why was the Talaria software developed? Talaria software has been designed with the support of the Hermes Project Software Group, which has met regularly during year 2021 to discuss together with the software development team the user stories and the functional requirements for the new service. Talaria's main aim was to um, improve the existing received software, to guarantee a better um, reliability, robustness and scalability in case of increase in the number of participant libraries and requests, and also to provide a um, um, user-friendly user interface and being independent from any commercial software platform. Talaria doesn't want to replace the existing resource sharing networks, which are very well established in the world, but instead uh, Talaria aims at to want to fill the gap between them. For this reason, once the uh, Talaria core modules are released, we will devote all our effort to improving the communication and the interoperability uh, with other resource sharing management systems uh, that are available around the world. Also, the new received powered by Talaria will provide a new pl a platform for resource sharing for those libraries which do not have their own resource sharing community in their country. Finally, Talaria is released as an open source software, which means that any library can take it, use and manage it for creating their own resource sharing community. Talaria software is available through GitHub, but the development is not over. The team is dedicated to continuously improving and expanding upon the capabilities of the software with the goal of creating a global network of interconnected systems. We invite you to join us on this exciting journey and look forward to collaborating with you in the near future.